I want to share something with you that can absolutely change your life forever. And if you're thinking, yeah, right, sister, come on, I'm going to double dare you. Actually, I'm going to triple dare you to stay with me through the video and then you can decide. But if you take the three things that I'm going to offer you in this video and you put them together and then you have the glue that I'm going to give you, which is science, the neuroscience as to why this works, I think you're going to see the changes that you really want with less struggle, less setback, less stress, because that's how we do it around here. Okay. Hi, my name's Ash. If you're brand new, I'm in a truck because my house is being remodeled. Please subscribe. If you're hanging around the channel, please subscribe. Nice to see you again. Okay, let's get into it. So something that can absolutely change your life in a very fast manner is to take the thing that you really, really, really want for yourself, something that you've really wanted for yourself, but it hasn't shown up yet. Here's the invitation. So this is step one. Please take that thing and I'm going to invite you to turn it into a move towards goal. Okay, let me give you an example that is going to teach you how to do this. I host retreats and workshops around the world. And sometimes clients will say to me, Ash, I really want to go to this. I just can't make it happen. And what I say back to them is, how are you going to make this possible for yourself? Please turn this into a move towards goal if it's something that you really want. Notice the language. How are you going to make this possible for yourself? So the invitation is to take the thing that you really, really, really want, be it a relationship, you want to write the book, I don't know, fill in the blank, project it out into your future as a move towards goal. Now, the power of this is it will absolutely start to shift your behavior, your thinking, making the shift from, gosh, why hasn't life, this hasn't happened for me yet? Why is it taking so long? When we make the shift from that and turn it into a move towards goal, it's like a thought corrector. It it's an invitation. It becomes an invitation to start to do things differently. It's a different frame of thinking. And the question that you could ask yourself is, how am I going to make this possible? How am I going to make this possible? Not if, how. How am I going to make this possible? So just notice the language. How am I going to make this possible? It's not if it will happen, it's how. So I'm being very specific with the language. Okay, thing number two, if you really want to change your life, so take the thing that you really, really, really want, okay? Turn it into a move towards goal. Piece number two is please spend time daily respecting and appreciating the desire or the need to have this thing. Respect the passion. If this is something that you want for yourself and you've wanted it for yourself, it's probably because life wants it for you too. You want it for you and life wants it for you, which is why this is burning your soul. Like you just want this so badly. So can we please respect the passion and it's through our desires that we communicate with life. We start to get in conversation with it. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, kind of simple. But again, you have to apply this. If you don't actually do it, nothing will change. Like, that's just life. This is probably my favorite piece to the whole thing. How do you change your life? How do you change your life and have, you know, more of what you want with less struggle, stress, or setback? Okay, this, this is it. This right here. My legs falling asleep. Please imagine and pretend as if the thing that you really want is already yours. Okay, that sounds kind of weird. Let me give you an example. Let's imagine you want, you want to get married. You want to have that ravishing love affair. You want to get married. You want partnership. Okay, please start acting as if this person is already in your life. Some things you could do, clean up your affairs, take yourself out for dinner, put on the nice clothes, wear the cologne, you know, wear the stuff that you save, put the perfume on, take yourself out for a nice meal and imagine as if the person that you want so badly is there across from you. Now, I know this might sound nuts, like Ashley has lost it. Here's why this is so powerful, and this is the science behind manifesting. We want to start priming your critter brain. I've used this language in other videos, but just like painting a room, we want to put primer up. The critter brain, this part of the brain, the oldest part of the brain, 
is a fear generating machine. It's usually this thing back here is usually why we feel resistance, procrastination, things of that nature. And the more that we can prime the brain towards the experience that you do want, there's going to be less stress, less resistance, less fear, less of all of that. You know, here's a here's a beautiful practice. Start writing letters, almost like love letters, to this future person that you really do want. I mean, you could do a ton of different things, but you want to start pretending as if the thing that you really want is already here for you. And the power of this in conjunction with turning this thing into a move towards goal is it's going to start to shift your behavior. It's going to start to shift what you do and don't do. It's going to kind of clean things up a little bit. This stuff starts to act as a driver. So everything that I'm suggesting to you starts to act as a driver and it can push you towards the thing that you really, really want for yourself. So how do you change your life? You start doing things to change your life. You can apply all of these things, but in conjunction together with each other, uh, it's it's very powerful. I don't know what people teach when they talk about manifestation. I don't really watch that stuff because I try and keep my own thoughts mine. But this is the science. This is this is some super powerful, especially the piece about pretending as if you have the thing that you want. Actually, can I share a secret with you? Okay, so when I was in college, I used to do this. I didn't have a lot of money. I was working multiple jobs. I was putting myself through school. Things were very tight for me back then. And so what I would do, because I wanted to feel abundant and I wanted to feel like I was going to have an affluent life, and not just money, but opportunities and people and experiences, I would do that. I Here's what I would do is I would take myself out on dates around my city and I would pretend as if I was the queen of my city and I had all the money in the world and I would just let my system, let my brain calibrate to that experience as if it was already true. So I would go into sh boutiques, you know, fancy shops, and I would try on clothes. And gosh, if you're one of the shop owners of where I used to live, hi, it's me. <laughs> now you know what I was doing. But there was one shop in particular that was very fancy. And I mean, sure, I wanted some stuff, but I just, for me, it was, I wanted to, f I wanted to feel a certain way. I wanted to feel like I could have what I wanted in that what I was doing for work was successful. And so I would go in and I would try clothes on and they would serve champagne and I would drink the champagne and I would look at, I would just, I would let my system breathe in that experience. I w it was an experience. It was about allowing. I was always very mindful and polite. You can't be an idiot when you do this stuff because you'll get kicked out. I was priming my critter brain. I was helping my own thought machine, fear generating machine, understand that what I wanted, although it was taking a really long time, I was in college and, you know, I was a college kid, but I was, I was calibrating my system to accept that as the truth. And it changed, absolutely changed my life. Okay. Now, what we didn't talk about in this process is what happens when fear shows up or if a limiting, when a limiting belief shows up. We're not going to talk about that on this video. You can do two things. One, check out other videos. Fear is easier to work with on your own than beliefs. Beliefs require, there's a certain skill set to properly and effectively change beliefs, respectfully change beliefs. Those tools are fully available. There are some videos that kind of start to scratch the surface on how to change beliefs and what are beliefs and fear. How I like to think about fear. So when fear shows up, you know, you've got this move towards goal and then all of a sudden the fear shows up. Fear is an invitation for us to do the deeper work, to rehabilitate and to bring life force into places that have just been really stagnant for a really long time. So although fear could be profoundly uncomfortable, it is it is an invitation to do the work, to do the healing, to get curious, to turn into the fear. I call it, it's like you do the rehabilitation work. Okay, last thing in closing, if you wanted an additional bonus, again, these are all puzzle pieces and I double, I triple dare you to try this out. So first thing is turn the thing that you want to into a move towards goal. It is 
you are passionate, you can ask yourself, like, how am I going to make this happen? Second thing is please appreciate that desire in you that your need and want haven't stopped. And it's probably because life really wants this for you too. Third piece is to pretend as if the thing that you want is already happening. This primes the critter brain and it's going to make it so much easier for you. And then I would say the last thing is to please appreciate the movement and the steps that you are taking towards that thing so the move towards goal is going to start to do this every day you just be like what am I going to do to make this happen how am I going to what am I going to do and then as you take steps even if they're baby steps if they're giant leaps amazing it all counts but please appreciate what action is taken towards such thing that you want said thing that you want okay this is your friend Ash good day good night I kind of like this truck thing do you like the truck thing? My house is a disaster. Please subscribe. Oh, if you want more tools and support and resources and community and you want to learn very specifically how to work with the critter brain, how to transform fear, how to do all this stuff, I have something available called the Creator Collective. It is a six-month experience with me and the community where I am teaching you the best of what I know so that the change that you want is just easier. It's more exciting. It's actually fun. Check it out. It's in the description. If you don't want it, bin it. I'm not bothered. It's it's there for those who are ready. Okay, good day, good night. This is your friend Ash. I will see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.